everyone and welcome back to Wildcraft, <laughs> where I am jumping in joy. Uh, well, simply because we're back. We're back here in Wildcraft and that is absolutely wonderful. We have, uh, well, I worked a little bit on the shed, well, behind the scenes, <laughs> ever so slightly. I simply put in the uh, wall where it should be and that's about it. And I am wondering if I should maybe make this part like a whole inner wall that could be pretty cool maybe maybe eventually in the future but for now we shall sleep and tomorrow we shall get some oak wood unfortunately we have to uh, cut down some trees which is not very fun but it is necessary for our little shed so what oak tree am I gonna cut down? I don't really know. I haven't really thought that far, but I mean, this one sure would last us quite a while. Uh, gosh darn zombies and stuff out here and creepers. And what in the world? This is ridiculous. Shoot the darn creeper. Okay. I guess not. Oh well. Uh, we do have some discs in... Um, in... Uh, where, the, where the skeleton skeleton spawner was. So, that's fine. Anywho, let's actually cut down some of these trees. Hopefully, they aren't going to be mined too much. Well, it's more like the animals will probably mind quite a lot. Okay, how many trees before you all fall down? There we go. Okay. Hello? Did I hear a dog or... Oh, God, gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Uh, be careful where you point that thing. You could actually harm someone. Oh, gosh. Okay, what is this? An unbreaking... Okay, well, that's... That is so rude. <sighs> I thought I heard a dog for a second. I... I swear, I am hearing things. Oh, I have stood quietly and listened and I hear nothing. I don't understand what this is all about. <sighs> For those of you who, uh, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm sure it's not difficult to forget with how much I <laughs> talk about her, but I do not know where our dog is. We do actually have a dog. We have Sky, our uh, little wolf-looking, husky-looking, wonderful puppy, but she ran away during the night cough cough in episode two and we have not been able to find her since <sighs> so i am wondering perhaps where she is <laughs> but for now we have kind of deemed it hopeless to look for her because i it, i cannot find her i feel like i've run around the entire world here and she just she doesn't exist. I think I like that tree better than this one, so I'm gonna cut down this one. Uh, even though it's a big tree. Well, especially because it's a big tree. And then I'm gonna cut down our, our original little tree. That's a little bit sad, honestly. But I needed the branches and stuff from up there. And I'll even cut down this one. But I am replanting all of them. Uh, in fact, let's make it better by replanting another one. Right there. There we go. No, actually, right there. Now there's even more trees than when it started. <laughs> there we go. But let's actually take these logs and bring them down into our... Um, our little pantry area, along with some dirt. There we go. Uh, coarse dirt, to be exact. Oh, oh, 
Uh, there we go. Okay, maybe this is enough for all the floors. I am unsure. But we can always try. Um, there we go. I was thinking this part could also be wood. I don't know why I was thinking that, but I, I just... I feel like it may, makes a nice, like, um, entrance again. You get drawn this way, not, uh, not straight forward here. At least that's how it feels for me, I think. There we go. Boom. There we go. <laughs> um, but we definitely have to train up Sky whenever she comes back. You know, maybe I should make a bunch of treats for her. <laughs> We do actually, we do have wheat, don't we? We need sugar as well, though. Hmm. Maybe I can actually plant sugar stuff in a botany? Hold on. Sugar. Here. Oh yeah, that comes from beetroots as well. As well as honey, actually. And agave. Okay. That's like agave syrup. That's pretty cool. Okay, so either beetroot or a gave is what we need. That's probably the best uh, way to actually get a bunch of it. But we do need wheat as well for the um, puppy treats that actually help them get levels. Which sounds very funny, but... Um, <laughs> You do train dogs with treats, so it makes sense. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna put the seeds in here. Do we have more gooseberries in here? We have a lot of gooseberry, actually. And now we have another bow. Okay, I don't know what to do with the bow. Oh gosh, I completely forgot to actually put coarse dirt on the floor down here. Uh, that's really gonna bring... Well, I find at least that this really brings the uh, the whole build together. With the coarse dirt at the bottom here. There we go. Actually, I'm wondering uh, what kind of builds you guys actually like to do in Minecraft. Or if you even play Minecraft. Maybe you guys are just here for, for the talking. <laughs> and the, well, relaxation. Gosh darn it. <laughs> um, well, the relaxing part of the whole thing. Which, that I can totally understand. Sometimes it's nice to just have something you can go and relax. Uh, truly just relax. I mean, really be as lazy as you possibly could. <laughs> just to make it a bit more fun. No, but it's definitely good to have places where you can really relax so that you're ready for whatever the day brings. Uh, that's for sure. There we go. I mean, look at this. This looks great. I <laughs> I think, anyways. <laughs> well, I can, I can only say so much, considering I always build this. Um... But I personally really like this sort of little shed. And you actually get, well, with mods at least, you actually get a surprising... Eh, even without mods. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I tried this uh, without mods one time as well. And it's just, it's a really good storage. There's a lot of space. Maybe I usually do it too thin? No, I think I do it three by three all over the place. I like the floor is uh, three by three, I believe. Uh, otherwise the lanterns wouldn't work, so I do believe I do that. But there we go, we actually have a nice little shed down there. Now, the only thing is, we kind of need barrels. A fish barrel, fruit barrel, a TNT barrel. Interesting. Uh, oh, coal barrel. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so you can get a barrel and make them look different ways with the carpenter's workbench. That's pretty cool. 
And for a barrel, we need slabs and we need actual planks as well. I think I'm gonna do the spruce this time. Uh, just like so. There we go! Ten barrels! Would you look at that? And then we're also gonna do chests. Let's do all of the spruce wood, why not? There we go. We also have a heck ton of rocks, but I suppose that might change soon enough. Uh, okay, so the way you do this is simply you just go by feeling. I mean, sometimes I like doing that. That looks pretty good. Uh, sometimes I like doing something like that and then two that way. Mm. That also looks pretty good. Oh, whoops, that's not right. It's because I sneaked, I believe. Uh, although that's probably for more over here. I, I feel like when you fill up every single one, it looks a bit crowded. But I don't know. We can put one barrel like that, one barrel like... Oh, oh gosh. Like that. But that also just looks weird to me. I don't know why. Because uh, it, it, it really shouldn't be. That looks a little bit more normal. And then we can definitely do... Uh, maybe something like that. Hmm. I think in that case, it would probably be like that at least. Interesting. I don't think I like to uh, the double chest on um, on up there. But this might look a little bit repetitive. No, it looks pretty fine. I like it. I like it. And here we just have some barrels and here we have kind of our workbench area. Yeah, there we go. So now we have a bunch of storage. <laughs> and it looks really, really cool, in, in my opinion. And you can even decorate with like flowers and stuff on top of these lanterns if you don't want them in the air. I just really like how diverse sort of this look is. Uh, personally. But I think maybe we do adventure stuff here rocks and building parts and stuff here and then this part is like crops or something that could work that could work and then over here maybe you have metals and furnaces oh that could also work yeah i kind of like that idea anywho this is definitely rocks and like with any rocks we will have a lot of cobblestone <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of cobblestone here this is adventure stuff, so I'm thinking down here will be monster things, like drops in general. This actually we need to put in our... Uh, in the food bowl. Uh, for now I'll just slam in some eggs here. Actually we do have, we do have a place for these upstairs. Uh, okay, so here, for example, we can put that bow that is unbreaking for some reason. And here we can just put more and more rocks. And there we go! So we have finally <laughs> sorted our things. Well, we haven't sorted them. I might do that off screen, honestly. But we have, in fact, made a storage for them. And the storage looks absolutely amazing, if I do say so myself. So there we go. Cozy, cozy. And I really want to get this book done. So we can um, really make a, a some progress. Because I'm one... I I have a lot of hard... I, I have a hard time making progress. <laughs> I really do. I'm, I'm guilty of it, unfortunately. Uh, it's hard for me to make progress when... When I just... I don't know. When I don't know what it is, if it's the project is too big, I can also lose motivation. In general, I'm just not good with motivation. As I'm sure you guys will know by now if you have been around for a long time. 
well, a while. <laughs> I haven't even been on here a long time. Uh, at least speaking actual recording things. Of course, I, I have had the channel for way longer than I was actually active. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just really confused about where Sky is. Really, really confused. The person I said, well, wherever she ran off to, she must have hit very, very well, apparently. Maybe she's like watching the river from down here or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but um, I can't find her at least. It's just some bones. I wonder if this is purple, right? Yeah. Unfortunate. We need a cyan flower for uh, for her as well. What in the world? Oh, that's a cow, right? A very, very beautiful cow, if I may say so myself. <clears throat> well, here's a cave. I don't think it's this cave. Well, this cave. I don't even know if she's in a cave, gonna be honest. Oh, what in the world? That is a weird little creepy creeper. A spruce log. Oh gosh. Again, this I feel like this would be a perfect hiding spot for her, but she's just not here. Interesting. Truly interesting. However, this could actually be a pretty good area for like a bat cave, possibly? And not that kind of bad cave. <laughs> but possibly like a cave with bats or any other nocturnal cave dwelling creatures. Cow, you scared me again. Your shadow was in front of the entrance and it looks pretty darn terrifying. Oh, that's a bear. Yeah, okay. No, be quiet. <laughs> Be quiet and walk away from the bear. We don't want to mess with him. Right, no, we've looked in here as well. We've looked everywhere, I feel like. She sure did hide well, and I still haven't heard her. Oh well. Anywho, let's uh, see if we can uh, find a feather, actually. Let's explore this way a little bit. In hopes of finding a feather. Uh, hopefully without too much lag as well. But, I mean, we kind of have to give it a, a second. Uh, it's a lot to load in, so... That's just the... Uh, the sacrifice you make when... Uh, when you want so many mods. <laughs> And visuals and all that, so. Takes a bit longer to load things in, but that's fine. We can live with that. Man, that is a lot of cool things over there. And a cool cave over there as well. Hm. Interesting. You know, maybe we could find some way of tracking her. You know, may maybe she's been making some, um, making herself known. But then she probably would have just come back home, probably. Yeah. I guess not. I just don't know how to find her. <laughs> Ow! Picking bush. Now, this forest is interesting. What is all this about? Huh. What is all this about? Um... Weird... 
little flower things and a turkey <laughs> oh gosh what the heck okay it's bushes what in the world well this is interesting wow okay well i wonder if we can find the right types of uh, flowers and stuff here to make it um to make her bed we need a cyan flower what is this <gasps> yes we got aloe yes <laughs> that's one of the things we needed for sugar that's amazing okay well that was right here wow and these trees are pretty pretty cool not gonna lie I'm very vibrant as well what flower are you surely you're like white you're pink okay well that would be my second guess uh okay well that's a whole family of of bears i don't know if we should mess with that right now and there's bamboo we needed bamboo as well yes who knew all we had to do was go this way <laughs> i believe this is the bamboo we need for for those fishing nets it is yes that's amazing and we can actually make them in one of these pots so let's see how do you make one of these pots is that terracotta it is <sighs> of course it is or white concrete if you want a white pot and then i'm assuming you can white hopper botany brown uh well i was assuming you could actually color them but apparently not it has to actually be the uh that's great terracotta what the heck oh my gosh hello oh it's a goat hello mr goat you scared me a little bit there um yeah unfortunately it's all oh there we go brown concrete well how do we get that then um i guess brown concrete powder would be a pretty good guess uh okay that's not too difficult brown dye we get from mud balls or cocoa beans great okay so now we gotta find cocoa beans as well lovely <laughs> uh, or the light brown mushroom bark mm. Mm, the brown mushrooms i i guess i guess we could get one of those as well fine if i find any brown mushrooms on these trees i will reluctantly give it away oh now see this is a turtle i remember the first episode where we guys were we were uh, talking about the differences of tortoises and turtles this my friends is definitely a turtle you can see that on the well more water dynamic <laughs> more flat shell so to speak and also it's little flippers it doesn't actually have feet to walk on in fact that one looks exactly like a soft shell turtle um Although I don't actually know if that's what it is. Hmm. Well. Oh, there's a brown mushroom. Oh no! <laughs> I have to right click them. Also, what the heck are these? What is this? Elephant ear? Well, they're very cool. Very, very cool. I gotta be a bit more careful. I think. <laughs> no, this is orange. You mean. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean? That is unfortunate. Well, maybe next time we can hopefully. Oh my gosh, there's a rhino. Um, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, maybe next time we can actually find some brown mushrooms. And if you guys are excited for this and many other adventures here, be sure to consider subscribing. And actually, I'll just hold a little tor torch here. But yes, please, please do consider subscribing if you want to join us in this and many other adventures here on the channel. And until next time, you guys, bye bye.